This lesson is brought to you by Redeemer Seminary. Now, it's Andrew Russell here. Again, we're looking at the second part of John 1, 1 through 5, specifically in verses 3 through 5. And I'm reading from the ESV. It reads, All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. I want to emphasize three things here in John 1, verses 3 through 5. First, the word creates. Secondly, the word is life. And thirdly, the word is light. First, the word creates. We see here that God the Son and God the Father participate in creation as we have talked about before. Without the Son, creation doesn't exist because it says here, without him was not anything made that was made. If there is no word, there is no creation. And we know that the word is the Son of God because that's why John is writing this book. But what's interesting is when God created the heavens and the earth, in Genesis 1, he created it ex nihilo. And that's a Latin word. And I'm sure we heard this before, but it means out of nothing. God created something out of nothing. God didn't take something and make something more. God takes nothing and creates something. And not only does God create something, but God creates the heavens, the earth, the planets, animals, human beings, the whole universe. This same God who created the heavens and the earth in the beginning is the word by which everything comes into being and without him, nothing comes into being. So now we're going to my second point. The word is life. John says, in him was life. Life derives its essence from the word. If you don't have the word, you don't have life because only the word can bring life. Apart from the word, nothing is created. When we have creation, we have life. When we have something, John is pointing us to the fact that the essence of life is coming from the word, just as it came uh, through God. This further proves the word's deity because only God has life in himself. Only God is self-existing, self-contained, and self-independent. All of us are dependent. Creation is dependent. Everything that is created is dependent on its creator. Yet the word is not dependent because in him is life. Now my third and final point, the word is light. John says the light shines in the darkness and um, has not overcome it. There is a sense that a struggle is going on between light and darkness. The light is trying to shine in the world and the darkness can't overcome it. It can't make the light less visible. For example, when you cut on the light, darkness has to flee. Consequently, John is introducing the reality of the struggle between light and darkness. John also calls this light truth. John 1.17 says, For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. And so the light is true. We know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There's a strong sense that a battle is going on between truth and lies. Furthermore, John says that Jesus came to his own, but his own didn't receive him. But as many as received him to them, to those people, he gave the power to become children of God. And so we even see here the beginning of an, uh, the gospel to Gentiles. It's not only for the people uh, of the word, it says here he came into his own, but it's also for those who received him. Uh, those who, who are not his own, he gives them, them the right to become children of God. So even before Paul, even before the, the Acts of the Apostles, we see here John introducing the gospel to the Gentiles. So the word creates, the word is life, and the word is light. Or radio. Redeemerseminary.org.